Here we go. Looks like we are live. Yes, it does look that way. Yep. If I didn't know any better, I'd swear that we're live. No doubt about it. Yep. East Providence has no power. How is that possible? I don't understand. I mean, I don't understand. Good afternoon, one and all. Here we go. Let's go. Is this the noon report live? It is, as a matter of fact. Folks, Cranston PD Live comes your way tomorrow night. Friday night is the night. We'll be out with Cranston. Um, it's going to be either 8 or 8.30. Might be 8.30. Might be 8. We'll know tomorrow, right? Hola, there's Chris Taylor. No one told me Chris Taylor was going to be here. There's Donna. Good afternoon, Lord and all. There's Steve. Folks, I'm not going to get into it too much right now. Probably be a one after dark. Those That Jared Cresso, the coach of Brian, his body cam video. <coughs> what a maniac. Wow, North Smithfield Police. Fantastic job. All right, I don't deal with that. Yes. Oh, good. Power's back in East Providence. Oh, so it's not third world. All right, folks, here we go. It's a beautiful Thursday, as a matter of fact. Beautiful Thursday. Share that you are watching. Remember, we're still trying to make that. Of course we are. We have a long way to go for the October goal. So send stars. It only helps the program. There you see it right at the bottom. Support this live stream. This dawn. Hola. There's our friend Ann. Uh, yes, Chipper. Uh, did the guy in Warwick shoot himself? Wasn't that? That was Tuesday night. But that, we No offense. We knew that Tuesday night. It's Thursday. I just check the page. Folks, remember, when in doubt, check the page. Um, I That's even on DePetro.com. That's even on DePetro.com. So, but we knew that Tuesday night. All right. Not everyone, I understand. Not everyone follows the news the way that we do. All right, folks, here we go. <laughs> East Providence, what is happening? When did it become in fashion to be a third world nation? I, I have no idea. I don't understand it, but... All right, folks, here we go. Thank you, Ann. Folks, we are standing by. There's no doubt about it that we're standing by. I wouldn't even try to deny it. Um... Trump supporters are not going to like the news of the day. I'll tell you that much. I repeat, Trump supporters will not like the news of the day. Those of us... Now listen, I consider myself one, but you get got to deal in reality. And there's many people that do not. Tragically. Well, folks, at 12.06, good afternoon. You're listening to the John DePietro Show. It's AM 1380 and 99.9 FM. Now, we also, we do our live simulcast. It's the Noon Report on Facebook. Just find the page, John DePietro Show. For instance, I, I can then see comments. There's David Picard. I don't always, <coughs> during the course of the program, Noon Report, I, I don't look at them because I'm focused. People that sometimes say that or think that I do are people that have never given a speech or certainly not done any public speaking. If you do any form of public speaking, you know, you can't be distracted. You have to be zoned in on what you're talking about. Whenever I see people that sometimes say he's not answering, right? I put a comment. He didn't even mention anything. That te What does that tell me? That tells the chosen one, this is someone that has never done any form of public speaking. Now, granted, this is on radio. AM 1380, 99.9 FM. We have it so you can listen online at the website, tobetro.com. It's then also simulcast on our Facebook page. But I recognize when I see things like that, it's, it's from people that have never done any form of speaking in front of a group. Um, if you've ever seen anyone try to maybe give a toast at a wedding, <clears throat> people, many, that's, that's a, a lot of times the biggest and first time that people are so nervous. You know what's amazing is you see someone give a toast at a wedding. What? Look at them afterwards. I always like to try to find 
whoever gave the toast afterwards, because they have, they're like a different person. They have the weight of the world taken off their shoulders. It's been such a buildup for them, right? Or someone that's trying to give like a, a, a thank you at a birthday party, and they quickly lose their train of thought. I get what's going on. It's because they're not used to doing it. So many times when I see people that are either trying to communicate with me while I'm talking, or the, 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 the most unbelievable is if I'm actually live at a scene and they think, you know, um, it's, it's just, it's striking to me. It's people that have never, that's what it comes down to. Because if you have, if you've ever given a speech or given a toast, or if you're doing a presentation in a conference room, you recognize it's important to stay focused and train of thought. And you can't have people either sliding your notes or trying to talk to you privately or sending messages and so forth. So, all right, enough of that, folks. And again, it is Thursday, and I, I recognize, um, <coughs> you know, different people have different thoughts on on what the news of the day is. I try to give you the news of the day, but I'm I'm telling you that, I, I give a lot of credit to the North Smithfield Police Department. That officer, if you know him, and I know a lot of people uh, in North Smithfield, and I know a lot of North, North Smithfield police listen to the program on AM 1380 and 99.9 FM. Commend that officer. Who thought? Who knew what he was dealing with? Wow. That guy can't remain the coach of Bryant. You know, I never, I don't really follow the team. I've seen they've had some success. Um, I know he's, I think considered a little controversial uh for various reasons but I I that um wow that is something <clears throat> I'm going to try to get it posted uh, again but what what stood out to me was the professionalism and the way that North, the North Smithfield police conducted themselves <laughs> you I, he you know he's lucky like you think you're dealing with a rational person the key, he can't be the coach of the team. Coach of the team, he's, I know what's going on here. Okay, it's been a little bit of an attack. Okay, that's what I'm dealing with at Blackies. The guy can't keep his story straight. We'll talk about it tomorrow with them. Our legal expert, Attorney Tim Dodd, will be on tomorrow, Friday. I think next week we'll go back to normal, but a uh, legal expert, uh, uh, Dodd, will be tomorrow. And on top of that, it's it's I, I fully get a lot of the Trump people are going to say the Sidney Powell thing doesn't matter, but it does matter if you want to deal in reality, if you want to deal in reality. So not everyone does, by the way. And I get that. Many times someone will go to, a um, you know, people you go to a film, you go to see a movie. And why is that? Because people say, you know, for two hours, whatever, it's half hour there, half hour home. The movie's two hours. So for three hours. I just want to like unplug from reality. People go see music sometimes, go see a band. And and what that really is, is that it's it's just I want to unplug for a period of time from reality. I want to, I you know, I have problems at work, I have problems at home, whatever it may be. For this period of time, I want to just go and relax and enjoy the music and kind of unplug from rea reality. The beach can have that effect. You know, people have various issues and problems and all sorts of things. For two hours, I just want to sit on a beach and just clear my mind type of thing. So there are people that deal with that. Um, and right now they happen to be, well, they, they, actually, to be fair, there's a lot of people like that right now. There's a lot of people, and I, I will talk about it. But folks, on this um, God is Good Thursday, it's brought by PR Landscape Materials and Garden Center. Homegrown mums and kale are outstanding this year, plus uh, sizes ranging 4-inch, 12-inch pots, ornamental peppers, 4-6-inch to six inch pots, everything you need, all your fall decorations and more, pumpkins, straw bales, corn stalks, gourds, Indian corn, native vegetables, they have them, local, local honey, maple syrup is available, and this is the best time for planting, selection of trees, shrubs, perennials, mulch, loam, crushed stone, they have it all, they're open seven days a week. They grind it, 3688 Quaker Lane in North Kingstown. Folks, take a ride, even if it's 10 minutes out of your norm. Support local business. That's what I always say. PR Landscape Materials and Garden Center, they also run, <coughs> excuse me, a great um, 
very, they do a good job with their Facebook page. Folks, this portion of the program, now check out topetro.com. We, by the way, we have the Bristol, that was an officer involved shooting in Bristol. We have that up. We have the Warwick standoff, our uh, arm standoff from the other night. We have that footage up that people have been raving of the coverage. Thank you. Um, you're welcome. But remember, it's all brought to you by the Coesed Inn, 226 Coesed Avenue, West Warwick. Whether it's lunch, dinner, drinks, and lounge, I love it there. It's delicious food, consistently good. They do such a great job. And now, they have the market at Coesed, 226 Coesed Avenue, West Warwick, the Coesed Inn. All right. <clears throat> so this has been major. Um, there's several things we're going to talk about during this June report. Again, for those Facebook, Cranston PD Live comes your way tomorrow. We're back in action uh, either 8 or 8.30 with um, the Cranston Police Department. So I, I did see someone put a comment that they believe, I, I think I'm seeing that East Providence may have their power back. So I don't want to uh, misspeak here, but the... Um, but the, I, I am hearing that East Providence, I believe, has this. So I'm not going to be redundant about it. But I'll just say this, folks. It's still, like, what what is happening in this state right now? And you have to question the decline, the direction we're going. Uh, I, I just, I find it all, I do, I find it troubling. I find what's happening right now um in in our state specifically in the state very troubling for the direction that that things are headed right now so let me click on this bob de silva um according to rhode island energy most residents have had power restored i i still don't get like what what is this that they <laughs> why do the people the business of east providence even have to go through that I also want to play, um, you talk about the direction of the state. Now, Governor McKee is touting what he considers to be low job numbers. <clears throat> but the fact of the matter is, there's there's a lot of people that are no longer, they're not even actively seeking work. They're not even actively seeking work. Rhode Island, more and more, and especially it's been, I'm not going to blame all of it on Governor McKee. He's certainly not going to do anything to stop the tide. But more and more people are working, just working in Massachusetts. It's just a fact. When many people question why housing prices in the state are so high, it depends on where you look in the state. But especially in the northern part of the state, you have so many more people that they may be living there in Rhode Island, in Cumberland, right? But they're working in Massachusetts. Not all in Boston, just jobs in mass. Rhode Island, more and more, it's it's less private sector jobs and more of just a bedroom community to Massachusetts. Now, Governor McKee does nothing to try to change the tide on that or stem the tide on that. If anything, he's kind of helping to kind of speed up the process. So then it just leaves you, what's the direction? Where's the, the state going? So I posted this. Um, this is now, this is Channel 6 weather. Now, granted, Channel 6 has had their challenges over the years, right? Channel 10, Channel 12 do a good job. Channel 6 always kind of been number three. Uh, but this is different. This can't be ignored. This is, I want to play for you. This is Channel 6 weather. Channel 6 weather. You ready? Here it is. Ganador con cielo mayormente despejado, temperatura en los medios 60, viernes, sábado llega la lluvia, domingo mejoría con mucho viento, esta tarde agradable, salga, disfrute de ese solecito, una tarde sumamente fabulosa de otoño. Okay. Estas son las temperaturas Looks para good. el resto de la región, Cloudy. especial de helada que sería propia para esta época del año a través de nuestra región para el martes por la mañana, soleado, disfrute el día. 
Look at that. Now, again, very, very, uh, there's nothing wrong with the person sí, delivering it. Día, ganador, but here's the thing that... Folks, so Channel 12 started it, right? They have the Spanish broadcast. How much longer is Channel 10 going to understand the sidelines? This is now the ABC weather forecast. Channel 6. <laughs> That's is what she's saying is City of Providence. Now, what's significant about about that. <clears throat> Hold on. As much as someone may say, well, what do you care? What do you care? So what? Blah, blah, blah. <clears throat> what is the, the hit? The talk that came out yesterday. <laughs> and you, next hour, you're going to hear Dan McGowan of the Boston Globe. Um, he'll, he'll be, you're going to hear that coming up next hour on the radio. But the, the Rhode Island public school test scores and how horrible they are. Just hear me out. There's a reason why I, I play that. Um, is what what no one seemingly wants to talk about. It, they don't. Is is the amount of non English speaking children in the Rhode Island schools? They don't want to talk about it. McKee won't talk about it. Uh, Matos won't talk about it. Even Infante Green. The one of the problems we have is the state is so poorly run. The state is obviously just one party control. But as someone that, you know, I've spoken to teachers. When you have, and I, you, you go to your own experience. You know, I've, I've told the story that I attended St. Paul School in Edgewood. And pretty much up until about fifth grade, fifth and sixth grade, you know, it was, it, everything was pretty much under control. And the majority of the students were from Edgewood, right? Walking distance to the school. But when seventh and eighth grade hit, <clears throat> we always had kids from Washington Park. But when seventh and eighth grade hit, we got more kids from Washington Park. And when I went into the seventh grade at St. Paul's School, I had never seen students behave and be so disrespectful to the teacher prior to that. Now, someone could say, well, that's a product of seventh grade. Not, not necessarily. Who were these kids? They were, they were so, you know, disrespectful to the teachers and causing disturbances in the class. And they were these new arrivals from Washington Park. And it didn't take a lot of them. There'd always be just like two or three of them. That's all it took. And it would completely disrupt the class. And you could see the teacher getting frustrated and try to talk to them. And that's all it takes. So I, I kind of understand as someone that I communicate with people that deal in Providence, they have, there's so many, and it's expanding is my point, because now Cranston is seeing it. And it's a problem in Woonsocket. It's a major problem in Providence, Pawtucket, Central Falls. And so, but no one wants to talk about, no one will address the issue that when you have non-English speaking students coming in, it it's it's the it's almost as if they're uh they're troubled students in a way and causing problems by the way there are some students it's not that they they, they speak spanish they're from countries far away <laughs> they don't speak english or spanish i've communicated with some people that are involved with the providence schools that say some of them are from some of the students are from parts of africa they 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 are completely nonverbal Whatever language they're able to speak, they're not speaking it. The other students try to show them, like, do you, are you hungry? Do you want to eat? Let's let's walk. Let's walk to get something to eat. I mean, that's what you're talking about. You're not going through American history. You're not going through difficult geometry. You're at a level where you're trying to explain to a nonverbal child where they could go if they need to urinate, <laughs> where they go if they hungry, food, luck. I mean, that's, and McKee and Matos, folks, just continue this. Everybody come in. <sighs> it, the public school system, but folks, they, they have so much power. That's really not even what I, I want to talk about, but I, I had to, uh, Channel 10 will be next. Now, here's the other part that I want to mention. So the more you have of this, of the news, 
giving the news in Spanish, giving the weather forecasts in Spanish. What what are you eliminating? You're eliminating the motivation. You're eliminating the motivation for a lot of those people to learn English. Because for the especially for those of you that watch on the scene live stream, I mean it's not your imagination. I try to tell people. But more and more when you're out when I'm out there. I have been it seems, I am telling you, I'm the I'm not one of the few that speak English. I'm the only one that speaks English. If you see when we do on the scene live stream, I mean many, many times I encounter people that um that they they they, they, they speak no English. In the direction it's going right now, like you have everyone in Rhode Island government is completely kowtowing to all these Spanish speaking individuals. And folks, it's here's the thing. It's it's not it's not going to go back the other way. I'll tell you that much, Harry. Uh, if anything, it's going to continue down that road. Now, there's um uh, there's an important tweet. I know not everyone's on Twitter, but I, I will share with you. I um I I actually I can't believe it's even surprising to me. Every time I think like I can't be surprised. Uh, I have to admit, I am I am shocked. I am. And number one, the lack of coverage of what's happening right now, happening right now in our state, in the region, Rhode Island, Massachusetts, and the world. Uh, lack of coverage. And I can't believe some of the things that are being said. But I want to touch on that in just a moment, folks, because right now this portion of the program is brought to you by AJ. Folks, right now, this is a great time of year. Why not have some work done on your home? AJ Drywall Plasters and Home Improvement. Call them today, 401-323-9252. Serving Rhode Island and Massachusetts, family-run business, frame to finish basements, acoustical ceilings. They can build your new home, additions, commercial rehabs, painting, remodeling. They do it all. I share their Facebook page. They do tremendous work. Free quote. Give them a call. Residential or commercial. AJ Drywall Plasters and Home Improvement. 401-323-9252. 401-323-9252. If you have an unfinished basement, unfinished garage, unfinished attic, maybe you want to just have some painting done in your home. It makes a dramatic difference. AJ Drywall Plasters Home Improvement. Is the name of the game, 401 323 9252. The part that, um, there was a good, um, and again, I, I get to get everyone's not on Twitter, but Barry Weiss put out, uh, editor of the Free Press put out, and she has a big following, 1 million followers, but she put out the following statement Imagine if days after the murder of black worshipers in a Charlestown church by a white supremacist. Proud Boys marched across campuses celebrating their deaths. It's difficult to envision such a scenario, but were it to take place, administrators, professors, students would undoubtedly be fervent in their moral condemnation. So it's easy to appreciate the rage over today's blatantly anti-Semitic rhetoric when our society won't tolerate much to celebrate similar expression of delight. After the brutal slaughter of other minorities, we feel that anger personally. What I can't get over is the people yesterday, and it's not just the squad. <clears throat> the people yesterday at Boston City Hall, this whole, anyone that is carrying the sign, ceasefire, protesting inside the Capitol, ceasefire. These people are demented and elected officials perpetrating the lie that Israel, with the aid of the United States, bombed that hospital. Now, Senator Reid, Senator Whitehouse, they're out with a statement. Now, in the Arab world, though, what's the expression? A lie makes its way halfway around the world before the truth can get its pants on. That spread just like that. Now, it can't all be just on the media. They're to blame. But you have local, local and national politicians perpetrating the lie. I'll tell you the part that really surprises me is the people that have been talking to us about trans rights matter. And the people that have been talking and preaching to us that Black Lives Matter and anti-bullying and 
gender pronouns, blah, blah, blah. And yet they're so insensitive <clears throat> about the fact that Jewish people feel unsafe. They have seemingly no problem. The same people that were telling us Black Lives Matter, the same people that, you know, January 6th was the worst day ever, and home has no hate here, and Charlottesville, and, you know, one lecture after another, the people that would lecture you for not wearing a mask, and there they are wearing a mask, and trans rights matter, and lecturing as they are demanding free Palestine and ceasefire. They, they are sick. Again, it's the far left. It's appalling. They are disgraceful. They, do they care? Do those kids at Harvard care that Jewish students don't feel safe? They don't. It's all perpetrated on a lie. And hear me out. And again, folks, good afternoon. You're listening to the John DePietro Show on AM 1380 and 99.9 .9 FM. Whether you're in Rentham or Worcester or Uxbridge or Lincoln or anywhere, North Smithfield, Smithfield, Blackies, <clears throat> um, I, 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 I just, and to allow, the part that I, to allow, the media to allow elected representatives I know some people, I, I hate when people minimize when an elected official does something. Like, oh, who cares? They're, they're, you're missing the point. They're an elected official saying that the United States bombed that hospital. And, and the, the biggest thing, folks, that I take away, what did I say right away? <clears throat> so this attack was October 7th. I think it's really interesting that that side Right, the crowd that they won't acknowledge, they don't want to acknowledge October 7th. They don't want to hear any stories of the people killed at the Peace Festival. That's why Justin Katz was great. You know, I know Bill Bartholomew works with Pork Boy. He 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 did a music festival. He doesn't even mention the October 7th, the Nova Music Festival, where all those young people that gathered for peace and music and they were you know, you could see them, the paragliders landing. That is now the most famous music festival ever, and I'm not in a good way. Kind of like Station Nightclub Fire. <clears throat> These people, they won't even acknowledge it. They won't acknowledge the hostages. They, they will stand, you know, they were so adamant. I, I'll tell you, I, let me just, they, they're sick. That's why I, I despise them. And I, I mean, I can't even begin to tell you the hatred I feel towards these people. Like the nerve to scream and yell, Black Lives Matter. And, and, <clears throat> and they're marching along demanding a blanking ceasefire. You want to protest? The protest should be release the hostages. I, I just, I am so disillusioned, so disillusioned with any of the individuals that support those people. and. The spineless members of the press that give them cover. As I mentioned, both local, that after January 6th, any Republican running for office was asked about, do you believe the, their election results? Do you want to condemn January 6th? You know, insurrection, attack on democracy, blah, blah, blah. And they are blanking silent about this. Now, I'm not just saying that because I am, which I am, affiliated and support the Rhode Island Coalition for Israel. Like, these people don't, Tierra Mack and that Enrique Sanchez and some of these city council people, they, like, they're allowed to perpetrate lies and nonsense and they have no concern. What, what happened to the anti, like all these people with the anti-bullying measures and kids, you know, like Bartholomew, Pork, Pork Boy's producer, he was saying, you know, if kids want to wear cat outfits to, you know, school, good for them. Uh, you know, have at it, you know, but you can't have bullying. Bullying, do, do these people care that Jewish students don't feel safe on a university, don't feel safe walking the streets? I'll tell you what this crowd, 
it's it's so obvious they won't mention October 7th. They won't mention the people that were killed, the terrorist actions taken by Hamas. They won't there's there's certain common traits. They won't mention the hostages. There's there's nowhere in their mind. Because if you mention the hostages, then you have to reference what happened October 7th. And they don't want to mention October 7th. Because to them, it's all no wars, and the United States is bad, and Israel is bad, and free Palestine, and free, free Palestine, and from the river to the sea will drown the Jews. Palestine will be free. It is disgraceful. Governor McKee, we will not allow any, and you're doing nothing. There's a Hamas rally on the State House steps on Saturday. I'll tell you who wouldn't have tolerated it. Jewish Governor Bruce Sundland wouldn't have tolerated it. I'll tell you who would not have tolerated it. Governor Don Kachiri wouldn't have tolerated it. I don't know about Ramundi. Who knows? These they they think they're so righteous. I I, I can't even begin. I have to check myself the anger I feel towards this crowd. They they're just they're unimet and the squad. <laughs> all right, so just so we all know, it's obvious. I'm not gonna. This is not gonna be a news alert here. But how do I know local media wants Gabe Ammo, the Democrat? Now again. He seems like a nice enough guy, okay? But how do we know that they want him to be elected? The attack was Saturday, October 7th, right? Sunday was October 8th. On either the 9th or the 10th, Gabe Hemo was posing with a member of the squad. The squad are in support of Hamas in Palestine and the Palestinians. They're anti-Israel. No one will ask him about that. If anything, the media went overdrive. I mean, I, I just, I can't believe what I'm witnessing. I really mean it, folks. I can't, these individuals, we're, they, they, I see now the passive aggressive way to deal with it is they pretend they don't see it. They, they won't, like there's this wild activist and, and she's crazy. And she's the person who wants all bike lines. She wants everyone on Island to give up their car. She wants everyone to ride a bike. And now she's Jewish. But she's 100% against Israel. She's an American Jew. 100% against. She's 100% against Israel. She was at a wedding over there. And was trapped. They couldn't get out. And she's still against them. She won't mention the hostages. She won't mention the people killed. Her entire concern is for the people in Gaza. I don't know what to make of people like this. And the local media, they love her. And they write about her. And they admire her. And they have not, let me put it this way. They have nothing but positive things to write about her. Yes, these people took over the state house. That's an elected rep. Talib. God, that one. We should deport her. She's from Dearborn, Michigan. Like, you're, you're lying to incite a riot. You're telling a lie. Hamas bombed. The, it wasn't even the hospital. It was the parking lot of the hospital. And there weren't 500 people killed. Uh, there's laws against that. That's not free speech, by the way. You're inciting violence. Seth Magaziner, not only will he condemn what she says, no one in the media will ask him about what she said. Not only will Gabe Ammo, um, not only will he disavow or condemn the statements from the the, the 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 tribe, the squad, the local press, they won't even ask him about it. Instead, they go into overdrive. No difference, nothing to see here between Gary Leonard, and Gabe Ammo. We checked, we checked. Everything's above board. Providence Journal, Rhode Island Current. Like it's worse than I thought. I'll say this: uh, one of the things reasons I like Bill Maher is he he will call out democrats he calls out both sides um when i can i like to do that and i want to be very clear folks i mean i i it's not that i and and, and let me also point out this another thing about local media that harrison tuttle the head of blm pack right 
if, if a police officer is accused of anything, the media runs to his door and puts him on. What's your reaction? Uh, he is supporting Hamas. They'll have him on television. They'll have him on Channel 10 and 12. They'll do interviews with him. Yet no one will go and ask him to defend his position. I, I, I just, when I think I'm surprised, I don't want to say when I thought I saw it all. Or you can't make, I, I don't like the cliches. But I, I'm just unnerved. But what I realize is, is it's not that they, the people that are, def, that are, it, it's not that they're defending that was done, right? Uh, AOC, uh, locally, Tierra Mac, they, they'll say that they won't, it's not like they're defending Hamas. Instead, how they take the tact is they pretend they don't see it. It's they don't acknowledge it. That's what it really comes down to. They, to them, October 7th didn't happen. Right? Like it all started the moment anyone in Gaza was killed. To them, that's when the conflict started. They, everything else is a, is a mulligan. Everything else is, well, based on what Israel's been doing. They can justify in their twisted minds um, of what was done. And we know what was done with infants, families, elderly, those poor families and horror. Because they block it out. The fact that there are hostages, the terrorist attack that happened, they don't, they don't see it. If they feel if they don't see it, they don't have to defend it. Because they don't want to defend it. And you know what? Let's be, you can't defend it. But this is my part. My, this is my point that I've come to realize. I've been saying you can't negotiate with these people, right? The Arabs, the Muslims, the Allah Akbar crowd. You you can't negotiate with them. You're demonstrating how you can't. They they lie. They're disingenuous. They just keep insisting that the United States and Israel bombed a hospital and killed 500 people. The truth doesn't matter to them. They have no interest in the truth. You can't negotiate with people like that. You can't have a meaningful dialogue with people like that. How can you have a meaningful dialogue? You know, and, and in fairness, I've hit both sides. Like I've said, you can't sit down and have a conversation with someone who believes that JFK Jr., not only is he alive, he's going to appear in Dallas. <laughs> I mean, I mentioned that crowd, right? The QAnon crowd. You'll see. Watch and see. You'll see. Okay, 135. I mean, that's nonsensical. So the far right's nonsensical. But the far left, they're, it's, I, they're even more annoying. They are. They, they are. They don't care. Like, they, they will fight if there's one, quote, trans student. I'll tell you where they, they're just incredible. You have 1,000 students. You have, no matter how many students are trans to the West, if there's one student that's an atheist, they had to take down the prayer banner, right? It trans the West, uncle atheist in the crowd. <clears throat> However, if one person is, quote, uncomfortable, they want changes made. If one, you know, he had to do away with the father's daughter dance because one person said they were uncomfortable. Just uncomfortable, made uncomfortable. Not harmed or threatened, made uncomfortable. Take down the prayer banner. This same crowd that will say, you got to use pronouns. Trans lives matter. Take down that prayer banner. That same crowd are immune and oblivious and, and completely unconcerned if Jewish students don't feel comfortable or safe, excuse me, don't feel safe walking the streets on a college campus. I, I, I don't, you know, it just confirms what I thought. You, you, you can't have meaningful dialogue with people like this. Ah, all right, folks, this portion of the program, I want to tell you about Shopper Insurance Agency. No one said navigating the world of insurance is easy, but it can be easier if you contact Shopper Insurance Agency. Find the right coverage it can be daunting. That's why you can take advantage, free consultation, Shopper Insurance Agency, neighbor, partner, friend, for auto insurance, home insurance, 
renters, business insurance, flood, recreational, shopper insurance agency. Call Stephen, 401-900-INSU, 401-900-INSU, or 4678. They're right in Cranston, free consultation, Shapa Insurance Agency. Stephen is so knowledgeable, he'll map it out for you. What I'm offering you is a free consultation. Learn how you can save money. Shapa Insurance Agency and online at shopperinsurance.com. Well, folks, good afternoon. You're listening to the John DePietro Show on AM 1380 and 99.9 FM. Now, I talk about you got to be in reality. Okay, you got to deal in reality. And the only way I survive is we have to deal in reality. Not everyone wants to be in reality. But I want to go back to November of 2020. And I received the nastiest emails and messages. How dare you, Sydney Powell? She's brilliant. Lynn Wood, how can you say those things? Release the Kraken. What well, I was saying then, President Trump has got to be careful of her, Rudy Giuliani. Mike Lindell and Flynn and Lynn Wood. I, I, I was saying this to Trump people in November of 20. And, and re, re, I should have saved the messages. I would delete them. This went on for months, if not longer. I said from day one, she, she's a crackpot. You've got to get rid of her. Anyone with a brain could see that. He had her. President Trump had her. So now what do you have? What's the news of the day? Sidney Powell, who was, Pat Cipollone had said, what are these people doing in the White House? You can't have General Flynn. You can't have Mike Lindell. I know they're entertaining. You can't have Sidney Powell. Rudy Giuliani is, uh, you know, has a very, very serious drinking problem. These people lead to no good. When there's the decline of the empire, the, in, a, in a way, the hyenas come out. Right? It's just like in Lion King. And suddenly President Trump was being surrounded by undesirable hyenas. So what's the news of the day? Sidney Powell is pleading guilty in the Georgia case. I don't expect people to rationalize or understand the significance of this. But I'm telling you, as someone that lives in reality, it's very significant. Now, tomorrow we'll have on our legal expert, Attorney Tim Dodd. But I, I just, I, I'm not saying, I don't know where this is going to go. But if you're a Trump supporter, who, they, they don't, you, you, these are the same people that are like in Bill We Trust, right? With like Belichick. Everything's going to be fine. No, the Patriots are world champion. I mean, <laughs> I don't know if people feel that way now. Listen, the Georgia development, all I'm going to say is, it, it, it's, it's, it's not a good development for Team Trump. It's not. You can dismiss that. Uh, fake news, blah, blah, blah. I, I, I'm just, people, some people, as I said, they choose not to live in reality. I choose to. Reality is not always comfortable. There's no way any rational individual would see the Sid Powell news and thinks that that somehow translates into good news for the president. It, it, it just doesn't. She's cooperating. She was one of his attorneys. She's got copious notes. She may have recordings. Again, I'm not trying to, people that shrug it off, go ahead. Go ahead. I'm not trying to convince you. For people that are looking for real news in reality, I get it. There's a certain percentage, they, they'll always dismiss it. Folks, in 1948, there was still Japanese on some of those islands, right? They were still out there. Still thought the war was going on. You had a, a number of people that went to Dallas on the anniversary of the Kennedy assassination, thinking that that John F. K. J John Jr. JFK Jr. was coming back. He's been in hiding this whole time. Like I don't I don't entertain conversations with those people because they're nuts. But if you're not that far in, I'm just telling you that the Sidney Powell thing. And, and I know I'll get email. Oh. You know, what's your traitor? How can you say that? You know, I get the stuff on Tim Dodd. Oh, you and Dodd don't know what you're talking about. I, again, it's it's crazy. I don't even try to argue. It's like arguing with uh, like a barking dog. Folks, this portion of the program is brought to you by JMB Plumbing. Plumbing repair and service, repair damaged water pipes, repair clogged pipes, 
replace hot water heaters. They can do it all. Do you need a plumber for your workplace or your home? Call J&B Plumbing today, 401-743-9153. 401-743-9153, J&B Plumbing. Now, they are fantastic. They're local, specialize in all plumbing, heating, drain cleaning can be a big problem. Call J&B Plumbing, and they specialize in on-demand tankless water heater. Five-star reviews, honest, reliable company. JMB Plumbing. They can do it all. So on this Thursday, you know, yeah, the sun is out, but and it looks like a nice day. But if you're having a plumbing problem, it takes over your life. JMB Plumbing, 401 743 9153. Well, folks, good afternoon. You're listening to the John DePetro show on AM 1380 and 99.9 FM. It is. It's it's I want to get back to I think it's disgraceful what is happening out there. I think it's disgraceful. The Democrat Party, if you're listening right now, you know, proud Democrat, I think you have to take a hard look. Um, now, I'm also seeing Channel 12 is reporting there's a heavy police presence at East Providence High School. Five cruisers on scene. An ambulance was just seen leaving the school grounds. I'm not sure what that is. We'll monitor that. Um, but the... Um, I just, as I'm seeing, I'm seeing Matt Gates. Listen, I, I said at the time, it was a mistake to get rid of Kevin McCarthy. There were people that actually argued with that and believe Matt Gates. I, I don't know how, if you're following that guy, it, it you want to talk about people that live in reality. I, I don't know how, some people just don't get it. Eight people don't tell 210 people what to do. Eight people don't tell 210 people what to do under any circumstances. So I don't know why people thought it'd be different this time. So so all these people that still, what they think, so Matt Gates and Chip Roy and Andy Biggs, everyone, not, they're the only Republican. Everyone else is a rhino. Every, no one else knows what they're talking about. Eight people don't dictate to 210 people. So this business of, well, we're going to get rep joint. You no, know, you're not. It's not happening that way. No, no. Wrong go. Not happening. So now it's a total mess. <sighs> um, I, and by the way, if I were there and you have, I, 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 I out of spite, out of spite. Why did they get rid of Kevin McCarthy? They got rid of Kevin McCarthy out of spite. So why why would you think it wouldn't go both ways? If I were rep in Congress and Matt Gates and his crew said we want to talk to Jim Jordan, it would be get the blank away from me. Whoever you're with, I'm against. Because eight people don't just out of principle. Eight people don't dictate to 210. Period. End of story. Ludicrous. Right now in Queens, one of the largest protests, Palestinians. It's This is crazy. And it's all Democrats, by the way. All Democrats that are all part of this. Let's talk about who you don't see. You don't see Republicans out there. <laughs> you don't see Republicans out there. I love Kevin Mack. Here's body cam footage. Police and Jared Grasso. This is not the reason he took absence from his head coaching position. Uh, that guy cannot. He can't be coaching. Um, listen, as I as I have stated, okay, and I get it now. So now, the people. First of all, there were people. Uh, there were people that were saying, "Oh, President Trump's going to come and be." I, I said that's ludicrous. Anyone that's saying that is this is crazy. No, he's not. Well, he's going to get Jim Jordan. Jordan can't get the votes. But I, I don't know how else to explain. Listen, Kevin McCarthy was he perfect? No, but he was a Republican and he was the Speaker and he was moving things forward. So you don't want him. Well, then then you're not going to have anyone. Like I, I who came up with this delusional plan 
that eight people dictate to 210. I, unless there's heavy artillery involved, when does that work? I, I don't, I, what, like, what are we talking about? Matt Gates picks the speaker based in what world? And anyone that's listening that says they're the only real Republicans up there, well, apparently not. If you're eight people, you have to try to get along with the 210. I, and now they're, what? Now they're scrambling? Well, we have to have a speaker. Well, then why'd you get rid of the one you had? I said at the time, I didn't think, would, would Jim Jordan be that much different than Kevin McCarthy? No. Was Steve Scalise going to be that much different than Kevin McCarthy? No. Then what are we talking about? Then why did they get rid of him? It's embarrassing. It's it's normally not the Republican Party. And they're, they're continuing to just dominate news coverage instead of there being a focus on President Biden. And I get it, folks. The people that want to scream about this and everything's a conspiracy and everything's Hunter Biden and blah, blah, blah. It's it's complete insanity. What are we talking about? We have real problems that are going on right now. We have a weak American president. I also want to be really clear about something. Biden Harris is not the answer. Biden Harris is not the answer. So let me say this to some Republicans. When people mention Governor DeSantis or Nikki Haley, it's never, let me say, it's never Biden Harris. It's all about who could be the most effective ticket to retake the White House. That's what it's about. So it's not a matter of, so you would vote for Biden over DeSantis. It's just a matter of who's going to be the Republican ticket. I saw the, the other night um, people were saying, so you would vote, what, what, they were trying to pit it as if, if you say DeSantis, you really mean Biden. It, it's not that way. Um, you, you, you can't operate this way. What's going on in Washington, and by the way, we need a Republican representative in Congress. We need one. We had, you know, Kevin McCarthy wanted Fung. Rhode Island, ridiculous mail ballot, mail ballots allowed Seth Magaziner to take that. It should have been Alan Fung in Congress. It should be Congressman Fung. Why these people? Th but the, 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 that was floated away. Well, President Trump had said he'd be interested in it. What happened to that? I, I just, th this, again, you have people to me that aren't dealing in reality. And they don't have a principle, by the way. Like, don't, don't try to sell me that they're the only ones with principle. Now, on this nice day, I want to remind you about Rhode Island Rentals and Inflatables. Book your next event. There's still a lot of good weather ahead if you're going to have a party at your home with children. Rhode Island Rentals and Inflatables. Call them, 401-358-1213. You know, number one, it's easier to manage children when you have them all inside that giant bouncy house. It also tires them out. That's not a bad thing. Keeps it contained. It also sets a nice mood that there's a real party going on. Rhode Island Rentals and Inflatables. I share their Facebook page. They have a good Facebook page. And give them a call. Free quote, 401-358-1213. If you're having some kind of a party that involves children uh, over the next several weeks until winter really sets in, call them. Rhode Island Rentals and Inflatables. Let them shoot your price for one of their house bouncy houses. 401-358-1213. I like when you're pulling up to a party and they have the balloons out front, and parties here, and everything else, and kids like it. It gets them excited. Um, rising hostility in America is a headline. Homeland warning. You have Democrats to blame for that. You have elected Democrat representatives for perpetrating a lie. Look at how sad to me this headline, this headline is. Jews hide faith in divided London. A Berlin synagogue was firebombed. This is all coming from the Democrat Party. French airports evacuated for second day. Iron Dome getting overstretched. I, I, like, where are we going with this? Where is all of this leading? 
Where is it not leading? It's not leading to Biden-Harris. So I want to be very clear. Whatever is the best alternative from them needs to be explored. Jordan throws in towel. Jim Jordan has now given up. And there is no longer a cohesive Republican Party. This is a circular firing squad. This is people listening to the likes of Matt Gates. You know, I also see this headline, shock poll, large portion of Americans doubt democracy. 31 of Trump supporters say explore alternative form of government. Now, I know what that's all about. And what that's all about are there are some people that say the way Putin runs Russia is the way we should run things. And the way that China runs their country, that's the way we should run things. The way that Kim Jong-un runs North Korea, that's the way. It's a strong man form of government. The problem about that, and I know the, the real, real hard right, the QAnon crowd, that whole, the problem with that is, in fact, is that people miss, um, is that if, in fact, a Democrat became the president. And then I'm telling you, you don't want a strong man, strong man. Now, folks, right now at 1258, I want to just check. I'm getting an update. An officer um, on scene at um, East Providence. This is important right now. They can't let anybody out of the school, but it's safe. So, all right, I'm going to say to me, without knowing everything, that there's another some kind of a threat or lockdown. Here's what we're going to do. It's 12.59 right now. We're going to break for the 1 o'clock news. In the past, I may have gone over, and we'll watch the situation. We'll watch the situation. But if you note, know, there's been a number of online threats. A lot of times they don't amount to anything. So they can't let anybody out of the school in East Providence, but they feel that it's safe. We'll find out. All right, here's what we're going to do. We're going to break for the 1 o'clock news. Now, Dan McGowan of the Boston Globe, you're going to hear him next hour. Right here on the John DePietro Show, AM 1380, 99.9 FM. Right now, let's break for the 1 o'clock news.